بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب be conscious of how you spend your time in this life and try to be conscious of death and the more we remember death this can help us operate in life and this can help us do righteous deeds and things that please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoid the muharramat and may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq in that ayyul ahbab listen to this hadith of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam which shows us that we should strive to do good deeds while we're in this life because our time is limited we're not guaranteed another minute we're not guaranteed another hour. We're not guaranteed another uh, year in our life. We don't know if we'll make it to the next uh, holy month of Ramadan. We don't know if we'll have another chance or an opportunity to make the Hajj, the pilgrimage. So we need to use our time wisely and strive to do as many good deeds as possible. Ananas ibn Malik radiyallahu ta'ala anhu anna rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal يَتَّبِعُ الْمَيْتَ ثَلَاثًا أَهْلَهُ وَمَالَهُ وَعَمَلَهُ فَيَرْجِعَ اثْنَيْنِ وَيَبْقَى وَاحِدٍ يَرْجِعُ أَهْلَهُ وَمَالَهُ وَيَبْقَى عَمَلَهُ متفق عليه Anas ibn Malik رضي الله تلا عنه reported the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said Three follow a dead body or the deceased Members of his family his possessions, and his deeds. Two of them return, and one remains with him. His family and his possessions return. His deeds remain with him. And this is related in Bukhari and Muslim. This hadith, Ayyul Ahbab, it shows us that we should strive to perform good deeds. Because those are the only things that will remain with us in the grave. Whereas our families, may Allah preserve them, they will leave us because there's nothing they can do for us at that point. They can supplicate for us, yes, and supplicate that Allah has mercy upon us and that Allah blesses us with Jannah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives us. And they can do some types of ibadah on our behalf, like make hajj on our behalf or umrah or other acts on our behalf. But if you have a wife and she leaves you at the grave, perhaps she'll remarry. She'll be with another man, another husband. And so you'll soon be forgotten. And your children, they'll remember you, especially if you were kind to them. But what if it's the opposite of that? What if you didn't have good relations with your children? So perhaps they won't even recall you after some time and will not mention you with good nor supplicate on your behalf. But the only thing that you have guaranteed to remain with you as the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said is your deeds. So if you perform good deeds and you had something good to contribute to your scale, then this will benefit you. But if your scale was heavy with wicked and evil deeds, and may Allah forgive us all of our sins, then this will be the case as well. Then you'll have nothing else, no other opportunities to put forward. So this can be a means those good deeds of seeking refuge from the hellfire and the means of salvation. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.